Lady, and today we're talking about estimating. Now, estimating is where we use rounding numbers to help us determine if an answer is correct or if we're to get a ballpark idea of what an answer might be. So let's take a look at some examples where maybe we're going to do some addition or subtraction, but we're going to use rounding to help us estimate the answer. So let's take a look at these two numbers. We've got 673 and 421, and we could sit down and do the math, or we could estimate to see what a ballpark answer might be for this problem. So the key here is that we estimate first, then we add. So let's do 673. We're going to estimate this to the hundredths. So 673, we know, is we would round to 700. And what about 421? We would round that number to 400. And now we can do our addition. 700 plus 400 is 1100, or 1100. And that gives you an idea of an estimate of what those two numbers added together might be. Another reason we use estimation is when looking at graphs. So take a look at this one. So we have uh, a, the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, and they were raising money, let's say for their class party. Let's see how they did. So we see the 6th grade, they raised, you know, something close to about $400. Uh, the 7th grade, they're probably right in the middle between four and $500. And the 8th grade, they're pretty close to $600. So let's say I had a problem that I wanted to find out how much more money the 8th graders raised for their party than the 6th graders. How can I use estimation to find that out? Well, let's take a look. So we start with the 8th grade. We estimate that they raised around $600 for their class party. So we're going to say $600 is our estimation. All right, we're going to round this number. It looks like it's around $600. And what about the sixth grade? They raise, it looks like, pretty close to 400. So we're going to write down 400. And since we're asking how much more the eighth graders than the sixth graders, we're going to subtract. 600 minus 400 is 200. And there you go. There's an example of how estimations estimation can help us get a roundabout idea of how much more money the eighth grade raised than the sixth grade. So there you go. There's two different ways that we have used estimation to give us an idea of how to solve a math problem. That's it. Hope you got that. Wonderful. I'll see you next time. Bye. <music>